There are times when an item becomes lost, but the patron is then able to locate the item and return it to the library. This video quickly looks at what happens when a lost item is returned. Please note that actions may vary based on your library's practices and settings. First, let's see what it looks like when a lost but not yet paid for item is returned to the library. Looking at the Claims Lost tab in the patron's record, we see this item is lost but still unpaid. The Account tab will display the charges. When you check a lost item in, the Resolve Lost Item dialog will appear. This dialog box adjusts itself based on if the patron has paid for the item or not. Looking at the Amount Due row, we again see the patron has not yet paid for the item. They still owe the replacement cost. Using Actions, indicate if you will be waiving the replacement charge and or processing fee, or leaving it on the patron's account. If the item was overdue when it became lost and the item was checked out from a fine library, LEAP will give you the option to charge the patron for any overdue fines. You can choose to pay the fine, waive the fine, or charge the fine to the patron's account. Click Continue when ready to finish checking the item in. Let's take a quick peek at the patron record. The item is no longer listed under their Claims Lost tab, and looking at their account tab, the replacement charge has been removed, and instead we see the overdue fine for the recovered item. Now let's see what it looks like when the item has already been paid for. This time, when we look at the patron's record, we do not see any still pending charges since the patron has already paid for the item. The Claims Lost tab displays a zero count since the item has been resolved. However, we still see an entry for the item in the Claims Lost list. The entry is marked as Lost Accruing. This indicates the item was overdue when it was marked as lost and paid. If this lost and paid item is recovered, the database will calculate any overdue fines the patron may be responsible for. The lost accruing item will be listed here until the item record has been deleted or the item recovered and checked in. Let's walk through the process of recovering a lost and paid item. When the item is scanned at check-in, the Resolve Lost Item dialog will again appear. Since this item was already paid for, we see that no money is owed for the replacement cost and or processing fee. If it's your library's practice to issue refunds for lost and paid items, select Refund and follow local procedure for issuing the funds to the patron. If your library does not issue refunds for lost and paid items, select Leave As Is. Do not select credit. This can cause issues during a financial audit. If the item was overdue when it became lost and was checked out from a fine library, you will also need to indicate what should happen with the overdue fine, if the patron should be charged, if the fine should be waived, or if the patron is present and will pay. When set, click Continue to finish checking the item in. Now, if we look at the Patron's Claims Loss tab, that item entry no longer appears since the item has been recovered. If you have any questions on lost item recovery, please email help at ccslib.org.